Well, to a degree, I mean, because on the one hand, uh, an earthquake is a quote natural event. On the other hand, the devastation that an earthquake causes is not necessarily natural. I mean, you had an earthquake in Napa Valley, California, just a few weeks ago. And it was a significant earthquake, but because of building standards and because it takes place in the context of a developed country, the damage can be contained. But if you have an earthquake in an underdeveloped country where because of underdevelopment, uh, building standards are not uh, world class, shall we say, uh, where there might be shoddy construction materials, where the medical infrastructure is underdeveloped, where uh, there's general underdevelopment, it becomes catastrophic. And so a, natu a so-called natural event leads to unnatural consequences in terms of the thousands upon thousands upon thousands of deaths. And the thousands upon thousands of thousands of deaths are a direct outgrowth of money in your tax coffers going across the Atlantic to Paris. It's a direct outgrowth of supporting autocratic rule, let us say United States supporting autocratic rule, which weakens civil society which weakens uh, organizations that might have been able to assuage the damages coming from an earthquake. It comes from the fact that underdevelopment means a brain drain from Haiti to Quebec, and thereby medics uh, who might otherwise be in Haiti or in Montreal. So yes, I mean, January 2010 in many ways is the culmination of a long train, a long chain of events, uh, uh, beginning with colonialism and perhaps the Spaniards arriving in the late 15th century.